What's going on guys? Kevin Cage here with another XRP update. If you learned anything helpful here today, be sure to like and subscribe. We're going to be diving into the XRP price chart along with Algo or Algorand. And funny enough, Algo continues to be one of my top five long-term crypto holds since we first bought it back on Binance US in 2019. And we've come quite a long way from those price points. Let's kick it off with the XRP price chart versus Algo of Algorand Foundation. Now, there's a bunch of information to get through today. We're going to start off with the charts and then speed through some rapid fire news. I'll do my best to speak slowly. So first off, XRP and Algo both have deep ties behind MIT. MIT does, in fact, run a validator on the XRP ledger. And MIT, of course, one of the founders, Silvio Micali of Algorand itself was actually the co-founder of Zero Knowledge Proofs. David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple, early contributor to the Bitcoin code also with a background at the NSA, is a big fan of these Zero Knowledge Proofs. I encourage you guys to check out this video I did. You can type in Kevin Cage Algo and see this. This is extremely informative going over Algo, tons of fundamentals and and actual partnerships that were in the works at this time. October 14th of 2020, Algo was around 31 cents. And it's up quite nicely, no surprise. And what we're seeing again for Algo, just like many assets, and I believe many assets are behind Algo, such as XRP in this case, and Adam is doing the same thing as well, or has in the past, per this cup, is this. One big cup, two big cup, and now we have this third cup pushing up. Now we're also going to draw fibs and show you the magic of the Fibonacci. And if you guys have been watching my live streams for patrons on Cages Trades, you guys would know that I've literally been calling most assets to come to this 1618. And it's beautiful that we're breaking up here, and I do expect that XRP will come. And look at this. Using the high of April, the same thing applies for XRP. And then the swing low right here, I mean really a triple bottom. We finally blasted up, made our way through these retracement levels, and blasted to the 1618 extension currently at $2.49. These fibs do not lie, no pun intended. If this were to be candle body for candle body, which it never is, people that are too analytical really miss all of this. If this were to work out to the exact 1618 extension, that is a $2.87 XRP. And of course, that's nothing in the scheme of things. XRP is actually one of the assets that is yet to break through and create an all-time high price. So I am actually mega bullish on this asset, specifically with the largest SEC case in history, not just cryptocurrency history. Why do you think the SEC waited for billions of dollars per day in 24-hour volume and Ripple is already valued at essentially a DECA corn company instead of a unicorn $1 billion? We're talking above $10 billion now. It doesn't take a genius. This is really just common sense and essentially just like Ray Dalio says and I said this last video, investing is nothing more than trying to bet against consensus and being right. Betting against the majority. And that's exactly what I do. Now yes, I know the XRP community is pretty good sized, but in the scheme of things with the entire cryptocurrency space, many people are misinformed. They've never actually done their due diligence on XRP. They don't even understand how the tokenomics work, let alone RippleNet, and let alone what the XRP ledger can actually do and does today. So the more people that are ignorant to the potential of XRP, the better it is for me. Whether you got into XRP at half a penny, 50 cents, or even $2, this market is one of the most exciting places to be and I do have full expectations that XRP, just like every bullish cycle, is one of the last to move and is one of the biggest every single time. Of course, I have high caps, mid caps, and low caps, but XRP is still one of my biggest positions and that bias will not change. I don't chase. I don't go and buy high. And for all of you Algo fans, let's look what Solana did. Swing high, swing low. Where are we at? Well, we made it to 4.236 and I was saying, yeah, it's probably going to go there from there, but I just don't want to buy up here. I'd much rather buy assets that are down here like XRP before we get that big push. And that's what I'm doing with even small caps and mid caps. So I am just being very conservative in this market. Some people like to gamble and try to make money too quickly and do leverage trading. No, thank you. I've had my fun, I have years of experience at this point, and the only way to build wealth is slowly brick by brick. So to look at Algo now, doing the same type of move, and we almost have this triple bottom right here, Algo is moving in routes, and we'll see if we can get this push. And remember, most people are looking at this, but I was looking at DAG leading the way, and DAG actually is leading the market, guiding me for Soul and Luna. And remember, longtime viewers on this channel, even when we were talking about Terra Luna back in June 2020 at about 20 to 25 cents, and I missed roughly $8 million in profit because I sold too early. We don't talk about that. Everybody has that story. Big deal. If I miss a 10x opportunity, I find another one and I don't rush it. And the thing that I love about investing that a lot of people say is this. The cool thing is you don't have to swing at every pitch. It's not like a baseball game. I can be extremely, extremely picky and wait for that ball or that investment or that specific asset to be right in my sweet spot. 
Some people try to swing too much. And I mean, look at how reactionary even Solana was from these wicks. And I'm just using swing high, swing low on the daily. But look, it hit the 1618, checked back down, and then shot again. Now, all these assets move differently. Of course, this one wasn't a super long grueling cup and handle, but it was relatively similar. So now taking it back to the XRP price chart in Algo, long term, absolutely believe in these targets. Same thing applies for H bar, most of it. Um, of course, Cage's trades, it gets way more complicated than this, but I just want to show you high level targets. I don't panic if we go down here or 50% drops in crypto. That's another day in the life. That's how it works for anybody that's been here. So now looking at Solana, we are at about the 4.236 today. We wicked above it. Luna, the one that got away, swing high, swing low. Where are we at? Well, we hit the 1618 and started kind of coming back down again. So we'll see what happens because remember how Solana reacted. It hit, came back down, and then actually got another leg up. So that'd be pretty crazy. Now I know everybody's gonna be like, oh man, buy Luna, buy Luna. And you can, maybe I just missed out on it because I'm super stubborn with my personal strategy. You know, maybe Luna just continues to shoot and goes up. Up, 3x 4x it could but the thing is with my personal strategy I do not chase I am so stubborn and it works out well for me long term in this market so I mean even if Luna does in fact copy Solana and goes up to $80 $90 that's 200% plus initial investment so that's about a 3x obviously from $30 to 90 bucks that, that's awesome but I am so much more comfortable in assets that I've found that have strong fundamentals, extremely high funding that are at these lower levels. And so, I mean, obviously, could I get this? Potentially. Could I get a two or three X with this? Yeah, but it's kind of playing with dice at this point. So I'd much rather hedge my bet in an already crazy market and attack assets down here that have extremely interesting roadmaps that also correspond with what I see on the chart, combine the fundamentals, combine social engagement, combine all the secret sauce. And I mean, hey, even if you're only getting a 200% or 100% here, I can read that. And all I do is compound that. And that's how I made my first million dollars. Of course, I have my long-term holds I don't touch, but I also have a trading bag and I try to outpace my long-term holds. So we'll see what Luna does. But anyways, back to XRP, the reason why we're here. I feel like I've been a cheerleader, one of the many cheerleaders for XRP for the past several years. And it's not because I get views on YouTube for doing so, guys. I did crypto videos in 2017, but then I really got going in 2018 with this specific channel because I believe it is the best digital asset. And it is forming many things that I've seen before. So just remember, whether you're bullish or bearish, that's fine. I was bearish in the past and I was able to double up and kind of do that, but I am not trading my long-term holds because we've already seen assets create all-time highs. It's just far too risky for me and I would never forgive myself if I tried to sell XRP and buy back and earn 10%. I don't do that, maybe with a trading bag, but my long-term holds are locked up. So remember, looking at these levels, swing high, swing low, we have this double bottom cup, cup and handle pattern that we've seen many times before. 4.236 is about $7. And you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Rob Art's target. Um, I've never seen his analysis. I'll have to talk to him because he's a really cool guy. But remember, this is extremely interesting. Now, remember blockchain backer, another genius out there, always does this as well. So besides this level, which is pretty interesting, we're gonna do another confluence from this swing high to this swing low. And though typically I like to look for overlap, and of course using this for the higher level shows $10 plus. There's a bunch of things and ways you can look at this asset, and we can see all these cups forming and ascending channels still intact, crashes are part of it, these back tests on these levels. And the idea is when there is clarity for XRP, the ground floor will keep growing. So eventually this bottom will become the new floor for XRP in time. So I don't know if the 50 cent floor is here for good, and then eventually $1 will be the bottom, and then eventually $5, $10, $50, etc. That is the idea with utility as we're raising these ground floors for a variety of assets. Now, although people actually complain about the tokenomics of XRP and say, oh no, it's way too big, there's too much circulating supply, they actually don't understand how the escrow works and Ripple did. And I think Ripple's doing this in the best interest of XRP so that the price of XRP can go up provided it is actually solving a real problem for real customers. So I don't sweat the small stuff. It is all small stuff. Imagine if you were one of those people complaining when Bitcoin is fluctuating between $100 and $200 or even Amazon stock. I saw that post today complaining about little 20% moves. And of course, that's rare with the stock market, maybe early on with some volatility and some types of Internet based stocks. But in crypto, that's another day in the life. I've seen too much and I'm personally so confident in the future of XRP. With that being said, you should not take my word or anybody's word on YouTube. I don't care how wealthy they are. I don't know how much they know. It is just a dangerous game to put your faith into somebody else. I like seeing other people's research. I love Twitter. It's great to bounce ideas. But you better be certain that before I put any big sum of money into any asset, I do my homework.
and XRP is one of those. With the Ethereum price chart, swing high, swing low, dragging it over and just watching how high we've made it from that recent all-time high price in 2018. Now let's do the same thing for XRP. And this is a great look of just a basic Fibonacci retracement, nothing complicated, no trend-based Fib, although those are super helpful. And look where we're at, and it really does look similar. Now, if you're looking for everything to be verbatim, or not word for word, but really like candle body for candle body, you're gonna miss the point. And notice we're battling the 382 right now. We're under this 382 retracement. And Ethereum is already up at the 2618 for XRP. That would be about $8 plus. Do I believe XRP reaches that price someday? Absolutely. I'm going to try to be conservative here and just show you what I can see within the charts, but I don't want to give any crazy moon boy predictions because we're not there yet. Of course, I have high hopes. I have XRP that I've manually locked up with XRP toolkit on escrow. So meaning a small bag, nothing crazy, a small bag of XRP that will get released to me and send to my wallet in 2025. If XRP's at a dollar, oh man, I tried. If XRP's at two digits, three digits, four digits, or beyond, I am one happy camper. I like creating insurance policies. I don't rely on any single investment. I diversify in different asset classes, but it's always fun to imagine. So we're at the 2618, and XRP is battling around this level. And notice we saw resistance on the Ethereum fractal at the weekly two. So are we on the verge of a nice big move to get up to these levels again for a $2 plus shot? So Kevin specifically is calling that XRP's fractal is really mimicking what ETH did in the past when it was battling the 382 retracement on the weekly. Of course, looking at assets like Algo and HBAR, it's a no-brainer. Knowing the correlation between ADA and XRP, to me, it would be rather foolish to think that XRP does not break past $2 and beyond during this bullish cycle, especially breaking an all-time high. For all the data I'm seeing, I cannot ignore that. But first off, I am not trading leverage. I just have a simple strategy. I buy and I hold, and then I sell at a higher price. And of course, my XRP exit plan is a bit different than many other assets. I XRP more so is a savings account for me, and that's just personal choice because I'm gonna be leveraging it with Flare Networks for passive income. I have my trading bag to add more XRP, to add to my other favorite long-term holds, and I'll consider taking profits in a lot of assets as they get up to these levels. Um, if ETH can get up to, you know, 3618, I have long-term faith in ETH, though. But just wanted to show you that. And patrons, of course, you guys know there's so much more to this. We're going to be doing a live stream market breakdown on Sunday. Speaking of Algo, Ripple and Algo, just looking at these relationships, I like Digital Asset Investor even showing the picture of Brad Garlinghouse with the guys right behind Algo. They're friends. And of course, Michael Arrington, one of the best friends of Brad Garlinghouse of Ripple, is an investor in Algo as well. So I like these guys. Um, some people, you know, feud between HBAR, Algo, XRP, XLM. I couldn't care less, guys. I am here for innovation. I'm here to make money. And I own all of them. So I'll dance between which ones pump first and really do my best to play this market. I'm not perfect, but I'm going to do my, you know, absolute best. Um, here's all my thumbnails. That's so funny. Um, you know, all my old XRP videos with ADA um, and Algorand and Algorand. Go figure. Um, you know, right here, this is actually made by a community member. And I use this as a thumbnail. Always shouting them out. This is one of my thumbnails as well. Um, going over the ISO family. So this is made by Matt from France. So thank you, sir. Going over the ISO 222 tokens, QNT and a league of its own with the, what is it? 3702 framework. But look which assets are included with the interledger protocol family. XLM, XDC. I owned it when it was XDC back in the day or XDCE. Algorand, USDC. XRP and IOTA. Now I've been slacking on IOTA and there's actually a few other assets I'm paying close attention to. The Inapa founding members um, also include QNT and Ripple. Um, they have videos on their YouTube channel showing this, but super interesting to go just back in time. And I know some people are like, man, like we've been in this market for four years, researching, researching, researching. When will it be worth it? I think that XRP investors are going to be the best savage investors in the future from all of the fundamental skills you've learned, especially patience. Just like that gentleman that invested $100,000 into Apple stock back in the day and yielded $16 million, I think that XRP and this whole digital asset space is going to yield so much more than what people thought was possible and essentially create a new possible within our own minds. If you look at the facts of how all these booms and bubbles and transfers of wealth occur, I don't want to sound like a moon boy, but yes, this market is going to go to 10 trillion plus. It is going to be massive. Inflation has not stopped. What's your opinion on the US dollar and its inflation rate today? I hear that more and more and more, and you're right. And now it's now people are aware of it. If you're not looking to have your money work for you, you're doing it wrong. For me, I'm not really interested in stacking up a big bank account. I'm much more interested in creating assets that pay me cash flow. 
Cash flow is king because it'll always provide for me, my family, etc. And of course, when Elgo launched per its all time high over here at $3.30. So now let's take a look at the Fibonacci and just see how it's looking. And guys, I'm rooting for Elgo. I'm rooting for HBAR. The higher they go, the more confident I get in XRP in creating a very, very nice price when it finally sends. Now, this is something interesting. We're right at the 702 using this level. I actually did not plan this by any means. So swing high, swing low, wick to wick. We're at the 702. Assets like DAG. Let me pull this one up just so you guys understand. Um, and this guy just yielded me an insane return. People are acting like the sky is falling when it pulls back like this. That's adorable. We're in it. I mean, we rode this thing for like a 30x. Sitting right on the 8 exponential moving average on the weekly. That's cute, but this is part of the game. And remember what I've shown you. I believe this level is here. We have this swing high cup and DAG is doing that. And of course, if we go to the daily, if you look closely where this level is, it's a little different, very unorthodox. We could see that we swing high, swing low, and we busted through the 702, and it finally got interesting. And of course, we we're topping out. The fibs aren't perfect, but look at this wick. It hit the 4618, and that's how I gauged that we we're going to come up and ride up to these levels in the future. And of course, it didn't get the top perfectly, but it really gauges this. And this is the target that we've had documented, guys, on Patreon since DAG was under two pennies at approximately 1.4 cents. So can't make this stuff up. People still call you lucky, and I'll just keep working. That's fine. It's me versus me. So DAG is a microcap, or was, now it's a lot more established, and also partnered with QNT of Quant. And of course, one of the only DLT-based networks working with the U.S. Department of Defense. But I'd expect many assets to follow suit, just like Solana's doing it, Luna, ADA, and of course XRP. So one thing I'll be considering is maybe using some profits from other assets and entering XRP. But anyway, super excited about that. Let's see who else is bullish on the cryptocurrency market. So Credible Crypto, love this guy. Listen to this gentleman. He's been in the space for quite some time. He has great taste in assets, XRP, HBAR included, and has a different way of looking at things than I do. So I learned from him as well, and I greatly appreciate his work. So let's listen up. No, we are not magically in a bear market now, LOL. This was just the region from which we were most likely to see a midterm rejection. See, some people are just a different breed in terms of professionalism and expectations with this market. If you're not in check with your emotions, investing is not for you, especially in the most volatile market in the world of crypto. We've had this level on our radar for nearly two months now. Yep, and he's been posting this. Relax, zoom out, and stack sats, Bitcoin. So now look at this, really covering BTC, and he's referring to the entirety of the market. If BTC goes to 20K, I personally don't care. I'm in assets that are in different positions um, and frankly assets, some assets that are down 97% down from their all time high. And I just need a little ride here and there. And also Rob Art, another follow, be sure to check him out. So also right here, we have alt BTC cycles, looking at the XRP and Bitcoin chart. This is something we've discussed and have posted. I've posted a lot of weekly XRP versus Bitcoin charts, not XRP versus the US dollar. And what do we have? Well, really the same setup. So it's XRP versus Bitcoin on the weekly, and we're using this swing high and looking at these levels and probably playing it to that level. Now I could go on and on about this. I do completely agree with this. Um, and it's just a matter of time. I don't look at the you know, minute charts, 30 minute charts. I'm a macro investor and I really do focus on the weekly. It takes time, but for me, it is absolutely worth it. I tried to get rich too fast early on and it was so silly. I, I had some big losses. I was hard on myself. You're not in a good place mentally. And that's not the way to grow. So for me, getting rich slowly, it's not sexy. And it actually really wasn't as slow as you'd imagine. It's just a lot easier to sleep at night. I have my cash, cash bag, my fiat position. Whenever I have profits, a little bit goes into my cash bag. I don't care if I missed a 10x. I'm still stacking my US dollar bag to buy any future crypto crashes. It's just something that works for me, guys. Um, and yeah, it's just my, my style. We got, of course, BitBoy. So I like BitBoy, nothing against him. I'm happy he's shouting out XRP more and more, um, probably for the views. But the thing is, uh, he, he was not an advocate for XRP the past few years. He spoke very badly of XRP, but I'm happy and always you know, welcome anybody with open arms to discuss XRP. And I'm happy that he's one of the few that is starting to really share the benefits with a lot of Bitcoin maximalists or Ethereum maximalists. I hold a bunch of Ethereum, not super interested in BTC as a return on my investment. I'm interested to make money. ROI. I'm not distracted with token price. I'm focused on the percent return. But anyway, super cool. And QNT has absolutely been crushing it. One of the tokens I've been mentioning since the $5 days videos in 2018, all thanks to I am Legion. He's the one that brought QNT to my attention. And this is I am Legion. I love the uh, Game of Thrones right here. Great guy. Must follow. If you want top level research and analysis and deep diving, phenomenal. He has a coil blog. And if you want to learn about XRP and how deep it goes, and you'll never have to watch another stupid YouTube video of mine again, go read this. It is mind-boggling. It really changed my perspective forever. It's not if, it's when.
We're going to have Crypto Mason going on. QNT is going to take the competition and actually make them work together instead of competing. So it's cooperation, truly. It's all about interoperability. I'm all about unity, and QNT is the most unifying coin of all time. And of course, the token that allows all these networks to work together should appreciate in value, specifically with this type of supply of QNT. The same concept applies for XRP, guys. The asset that allows the trillions of dollars to interoperate most likely can go up per the actual 24 hour volume and a demand on the supply, which is not as big as you think. So really the tokenomics for QNT and XRP, in my opinion, are a little similar, but on different scales. And I'm sure that might create some comments in the comments below in this video for those that don't understand, but it's all good. Make sure you guys watch this Algorand Foundation and Algo Crypto review. And actually, guys, I'm going to start editing up this video because I will go into rapid fire news in the next video. There's just too much to share. Um, congratulations to all Algo holders. I believe that Algo has the potential to move up nicely before end of year. But from a trading perspective, I'm really just focused on assets that yield a nice percent return. And for my style, it doesn't work. Some other traders probably made a killing on this, and that's fine. My time will come. But anyways, guys, much love. All links can be found in the video description of all the crypto services I actively use today, not something I just use to try to get money. These are services that I actively use today and actually back. So hopefully you enjoyed, along with exchanges for XRP or OTC brokers. And I will catch you in the next video.